line and wash used to be a very popular method of doing watercolours and one of the reasons is uh, that it is actually one of the easiest ways of doing one. You may have seen my previous DVD in which I described the, what I used which is um, basically a sharpened matchstick uh, which is um, uh, pushed into a piece of bamboo. There are lots of ways you can do this. You can use a twig out of the side of a hedge or something like that. Gate piers and behind the gate piers there's a, uh, there's a bush. But now I come to putting on the wash. Um, this is really very straightforward because an awful lot of the work has been done already. So the very important thing is not to make it too complicated. So I'm going to use a small selection of colours. I'm going to use burnt umber, Payne's grey, light red, raw sienna, and perhaps one or two others, but those are the, those are the main colours. And you're going to use Payne's grey, a bit of raw sienna, um, try and make it look nice and wet, use lots of water, giving it a fairly shadowy look. I think I've, I've, I think I've done enough to that, and I'll stop. Mm -hmm.